We are melting ice. Just trying to melt the ice with the prop wash so we can get out. Today we will be sailing to West Fjords. It's around 130 nautical miles from here. It's gonna be an overnight passage. And the boys are here, my friends are here, so we are five people on the board night right now. Just doing some uh, basic preparations here. It's been a long winter sleep kind of. There's some snowboards and skis going downstairs. <laughs> there is Taneli and Sohvi. You have 10 million pair of skis. Maybe we can do a tour downstairs later on. <laughs> yeah, there is plenty of room for tour here. <laughs> and Tanele is the tallest guy we have on the boat, and he's there. <laughs> Nice to have a volunteer go up the mast. <laughs> I don't have to do it myself for once. Here we have two hal we're gonna use two halyards and uh, that way it's gonna be super secure. User is just gonna go and fix the VHF and then uh, And so we cast off the lines and headed out, of course after having done a comprehensive safety and route briefing. Mihin lähetään? En se tiedä. Se onkin merelle. Milläs merellä se on? En tiedä. Meri kun meri. There's not much to tell about our passage. It was grey, wet and generally uneventful. But then we arrived to the town of Isafjordur. Population of 3000 and 3 bars within a short walking distance. And you know what happens when 5 Finns end up in such a place. Niin, 
there would be a lot more to tell about that night, but it's probably better not to get into the details. We decided to escape into the fjords and leave the temptations of civilization behind. Now we are finally on the way to wherever we are going to go for skiing. And everyone has cured their hangover by now. At least partly. We have some ice on the window, so I have an ice removal tool. This is nice because it's soft plastic, it doesn't scratch the polycarbonate. And then also we have a, like a little bit of problem with the engine bay construction because it's not insulated. So now when we are going to be anchoring like in really cold conditions, we have to go and buy like eco-friendly antifreeze and uh, then uh, we're gonna basically have to winterize the engine during the night so that it doesn't freeze. But first we need to deal with this. Nice, good luck with the cutting board. Thank you.
so these mountains that you saw here today are the ones that we're going to be skiing here the next few weeks and it's a pretty nice area we're gonna be sailing down in the fjords there's some good fairly well protected anchorages or well maybe not not that well protected but at least there's actually good anchoring grounds here with uh, good anchoring depth and and so and so on that can be a rarity um, if you are in a mountainous area so it's all pretty nice after skiing down to the fjord we took snow depth measurements and dug one of our snow profiles I identified the different snow layers centimeter by centimeter and checked their hardness and the type of snow. We are especially interested in finding and recording the ice layers inside the snowpack. These kind of ice layers form, for example, when it rains on top of the snow during the winter. The rainwater then freezes and can form an impenetrable layer of ice. This kind of a layer is so hard that it cannot be pierced by fingers, so we call it knife or pencil hardness. The ice layer prevents animals from digging into the snow and finding food and shelter underneath. Plants also suffer from this, as softer snow would insulate much better. Also this time we identified two thick ice layers, which are probably from the two rain events that happened at the beginning of this winter. We sent this snow profile data to a research project called The Secrets of the Snow. We are always looking for new Arctic research projects to volunteer and to help with, especially if it's something where we can use our sailing and skiing skills to access remote areas where information gathering could otherwise be extremely costly. So if you happen to know of an exciting project, just send us an email. We just woke up to this scraping sound, something big scraping against the hull. This is what I was talking about earlier when I said it's going to be a very cold night. And um, yeah, it's been cold enough that uh, half, the, half of the fjord kind of froze and now the wind has uh, shifted and there's a kind of like this big uh, ice flow that drifted onto us. It's not very thick so you know we are just breaking through fine. I'm still tired. I'm gonna go back to bed. I just had to come out to check that everything is okay but it's definitely cold. So I'm glad that we bought the antifreeze and that yesterday evening we ran it inside the engine raw water systems so at least we don't have to worry about the engines they are going to be fine even though it's cold one thing that's not doing so well is our dinghy it's uh breaking it doesn't have any problems because of the ice but we have been losing uh, air in one of the pontoons lately and uh, there is a leak, <laughs> so <laughs> now we have to bail it. So hope is on it already. Tehtävä suoritettu ja takaisin nukkumaan.
No niin, nyt saatte ruokaa. Nyt saatte ruokaa, kun olette hypänneet. We are now heading back to Isafjordur, which is going to be like kind of our home base for the next uh, month or two. And the trip with the boys is uh, slowly coming to an end, but we will be coming back to here to West Fjords and we will still be skiing and sailing for a while. Uh, if you've been following us uh, for a while, then you probably know that we've been struggling a bit lately. <laughs> We've had our share of technical issues and so, but now we finally made it here and this was kind of our goal for this winter. And uh, we are finally here and we got uh, a few good days of skiing in and I personally would have been happy with just one day, you know, I'm, I'm content, you know, we just to get uh, one good day of uh, skiing straight from the boat and um, that was the goal and now we've kind of achieved it so now we can uh, take it uh, take it easy and uh, just enjoy some more skiing but um, we also have some uh, exciting news for you um, me and Sohvi we have finally found a boat that uh, we are most probably going to buy we have reached uh, a conclusion with the seller in the negotiations and it's an aluminum uh, boat, a very capable boat uh, but it is also a project boat um, it needs, the hull is good, the engine is good but it needs pretty much all new equipment um, and so on, so it's going to be a refit project and it's gonna be quite far away from here and uh, it's gonna be interesting it's the kind of boat that a lot of people will say that we are crazy to take on this kind of a project but we think or we are sure that we can pull it through and we also think that we can pull it through um, quite quickly so you know that remains to be seen I have to go a little bit commercial here and say there is a sneak peek of the boat on uh, on my Patreon Patreon page and uh, of course I will be releasing a public video about the whole buying process pretty soon um, at least uh, when we finally completely finalize the sale and uh, that's a boat that we will be it's currently way down south, but we will be sailing it north and we will be doing the same kind of stuff that we are doing now, sailing in the Arctic. That's kind of what we will be uh, doing for the foreseeable future. And we just really want to, you know, show you all of this stuff, the beauty of the nature here. And we really want to use that boat also more as a, as a base or a platform for more scientific projects and um, we hope to find some sponsors for that and we hope to or we are going to work with some researchers and so on and we also ourselves are going to try and uh, fund um, some research projects for now though I will leave you with this sunset view here and uh, I wish you all all the best and uh, if you want to support the creation of these videos, check out the Patreon page. And other than that, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.